defense a little bit disclaimer I just learned this 10 minutes ago not honestly 10 minutes ago but part of it 10 minutes ago uh, we do the song at the jam uh, one guy that does it he does it like a bluegrass version and that's the version I've been playing I know my farmer town looks great right uh, and so that's the lesson I was gonna teach the way he plays it Works great. It's it's it it's works perfectly. It's it's more of a flat pick style. Uh, but the problem is, I went and listened to this some ten minutes ago, twelve minutes ago now because I've been talking, <laughs> and I heard the actual song for the first time ever. I should have listened to it before, but it's the first time I actually listened to the song. And like, okay, so the way we do it is great, but the you guys don't know that way. So then I started playing around with that, and I figured out. Found out, figured out the actual version, and which is funny because if you throw both versions together, it works. Uh, so, but we'll for focus on the Richard Thompson way. Uh, it's more a little bit more advanced lesson where you're gonna do it in the claw hammer, st claw hammer style just to mimic uh, the finger pick style with Richard Thompson. Uh, I will do it once with the pick later on just as a simplified version. For the claw hammer stuff, refer to the old claw hammer videos I did. I show you how I'm doing that. And just quickly, that's all it is. So basically, I got my fingers. I'm taking. A so I'm just pinching the low in the high string and then come in with the strong. we're using so we're doing it in the key of a so from what I can tell I think the song is actually in the key of G and a C G shape which is especially important because finger style people if you're playing open you're doing it in a certain shape you get used to a certain shape so I'm pretty sure it's in key of G it's another thing I should have found out but because of that when we're doing it at the jam it's the G shape but capoed on a second fret which will Enable me to play with the Merlin. It's, it's funny, I said this before, the more I take the Merlin to the jams, the more I find that the Merlin can do. Like, playing in the key of A is awesome. I've got some other stuff we're doing today that we're not, let's just, no, we're not playing in the key of D. This, it, it's, it's more versatile than every time I uh, try something, right? So, 
I don't know what's going on. I found my overhead light, but now it's late. I think something got broken. I don't know. Where should we be here? How's that? Is that kind of washing me out? No, it doesn't look bad. So let's. What am I saying? Alright, so keys, we're doing A. D with a second fret on the bottom, A, and then we're doing an E, D, A, and then there's a B minor. That's pretty much it. So four chords: A, one open one. D, open, open, open with some uh, fancy stuff on that later. E, 1, 1, 1, B minor, 2, 1, open. Alright. Okay, so for the intro, we're going to start with a modified A. So you're A, you're playing 1, open, 1. Now I'm playing it up here, 4, open, 1. You could do a 4, 4, 4, but I like that note, which is the same note, but it's almost like that drone sound kind of works well for this. And it's one of those things too, because if you do the whole thing, you have to come back to, to the low. And I like that open note there, because it stays the same. So it just works for me. So the intro, so basically that's how I hold that on the 4th fret. Now for the intro, all I'm doing is pinching middle and low. So middle and low. Until I get to that. So I'm walking up. So middle string, four, five, four on your high E. All with the four bass note. So, so basically six, 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 five, four, six, six, five, four, six, six, five, four, one, six, six, five, four, six, six, five, four, six, six, five, four, one. You do that four times while in that claw hammer pattern. Now, in the Richard Thompson version, if you let the last time he does it, because he does it four times. You can add some extra stuff in there because he does, but let's keep it simple. Let's just do it the same. Do four times. Uh, and then from there you go into the song. Now when I did it in the beginning, I screwed up. I did. I The first time through I held them too long. Second time through I held them good. Like I said, I'm still, I'm still with the learning with the song. And then I, the second time through I missed the bridge. The E part. <laughs> Let's just go through it once here, and this is so we have it right. So it's you do that four times, right? So that's four times, right? And then we're in the A. Now where I start the lyrics, I need a point so I know where to, where to count, right? So once I do that intro. And then I do a hammer off. That's just, just, just in my head. You could do it too, but in my head, tell me, okay, this is where the song, the words start, right? So that's basically, you just do uh, A to D, A to D, you just do that twice. Uh, come back 
to the A, and then you jump right into the E. D, A, E, D, A, B minor, D, move it up. song so it's not much to explain there you're just doing that claw hammer pattern over the whole thing and it's just changing the chord notes the chords right the last so you the last part uh, B minor and then you go to the D on the, with the second fret fourth fret seventh fret And then you go back to the low A, four bars, and then you go into the intro. Uh, the other part too, on the E part, the one little tricky part, so you go to E, A, A, or sorry, E, B, A, E, B, A, A. You hold that second A twice as long as the first A. And then you go to that B mark. So it all works, right? So that's basically it. Can do with the pick, it's the same, same thing instead of doing the claw hammer. So we'll just play it through once like that. It's just the way we're doing it, right? I see I'm too close now. I need to figure this lightning stuff out here. And this camera stuff. Oh my, oh my. Maybe my glasses are dirty. That's why I'm not <laughs> the mirrors probably. I get. I should really take a picture of this tripod. Tri tripod. Tripod stand one day and how I've got it rigged. They, they, I picked up a cheap tripod from Valley Village. I got lights hooked onto it all the way around. I got, uh, I built a, a bracket for the back of it that holds a mirror behind my phone so I can see the screen and then it extends up a light. Yeah, something else. I was quite proud of it when I finished it. What the hell am I even talking about? Richard Thompson, 52, Vincent Black Lightning. Bees wings coming soon. Uh, we got new, another jam Wednesday. We're gonna uh, see if I can get the guy to go through it again with me. Cause I'm not, I'm not real confident with that there yet. Uh, this is the first of a few today, this week. Yeah. Practice patience. Have fun. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>